Dear future doctors, thank you for joining us with the second part of the IMAT paper discussion of the year 2021. If you have missed the first part, you can find the link in the description. And we have discussed up to the fifth question right now. In this video, we will be discussing the question number six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. If you have any doubts, you can comment or you can write in our Facebook group and for more information, visit www.sprintertest.com. Okay, in order to start, let's start with the question number six. In a survey of cats eating habits, 10% of the cats tested showed a clear preference for moji meat. 20% preferred fuss a pus and 40% preferred yummy paws. An additional six cats did not seem to care at all which of the three foods they ate, while the remaining 27 cats in the survey would not touch any of these foods. How many cats were involved in the survey? A. 63 B. 33 C. 110 D. 90 E. 103 Now I will give you 5 seconds of time. During this time you can pause the video and look for an answer. When you resume the video, we can discuss why we selected the answer and why that answer is correct. Time up. I think you all got the correct answer and the correct answer is C, 110. How? Let's draw a diagram and uh, in the diagram we can clearly see we have 10% of cats who prefer moji meat or mogi meat 20% prefer fuss a pus and 40% prefer yummy paws altogether this is 70% and they have mentioned there are six cats who do not have any preference and there are 27 other cats who did not taste any of the food that means altogether 27 plus 6 is 33 and it is 30 percent of the whole population right now we have to consider this part if 30 percent of the population is 33 10 percent of the population is 11 because i divide 30 by 3 and 33 by 3 so I get the number 10% is 11 and 100% of the population is 110 that's how we find the answer moving to the seventh question it is usual when seating people round a table at a social function to alternate males with females but if there are unequal numbers of each this is impossible at one party, 14 women and only 6 men were present. They were seated round a circular table so that as few women as possible had no male sitting directly next to them. How many women had no male sitting directly next to them? Answers are A. 2 B. 7 C. 6 D. 4 and E. 8 your time starts now. Perfect. Time up. The correct answer is 2. And it is better if we draw everyone together. So we have 14 women and 6 men here. And they are asking us them to uh, sit next to each other as to alternate males with females. So there are uh, females and men mixed in the group but they were seated around a circular table so that as few women as had no contact with male so if we draw everyone together in this manner we can see there are six women without no contact of a man so this is not correct we have to rearrange the structure and the structure is this there will be two females in between two male 
now in this scenario we can see there are only two women who do not have a contact with a male so the correct answer is two moving to the next question simon plans to send christmas cards to 35 friends he is going to choose a single design to send to them all and knows that some of the recipients really do not like glitter cards so he will not buy this type he wants two fold cards so that he can write a letter on the inside for five of them the following table shows the possibilities that he is considering so this is the chart you have to follow this and what is the lowest amount of money that simon could spend on his cards a six pounds b nine pounds and 75 cents c five pounds d 12 pounds and 60 cents e 12 pounds and 40 cents your time starts now The correct answer is E, 12 pounds and 40 cents. This is a little tricky, but it's very easy to tackle. Now let's see. They are mentioning, do not like glitter cards, right? So that technically means we need to remove the glitter cards. Which has glitter in it? Village scene card has glitter in it. So we remove village scene at the very first place. And then he said, he wants two fold cards so that he can write a letter on the back side. Now see, he need a single design to send to all of them. That technically means, although he is sending two fold cards to five people, he will choose two fold cards for all the 35 people. And if we have one fold cards, we can remove them. So. Robins and cartons have been removed. V remaining and we are remaining with religious cards and Father Xmas cards. Now, when we consider religious card, in a pack they provide 5 cards but he needs 35 cards so he buy 7 packs. And one pack cost £1.80 so one pound and 80 cents into 7 is 12 pounds and 60 cents and when we consider father xmas cards they have 10 cards in a pack but uh, he needs 35 therefore he buy four packs he can have 40 cards and five he can use the next year maybe but anyways uh, one pack cost three pounds and 10 cents and four packs cost 12 pounds and 40 cents and this is the lowest amount he can afford so the answer is e 12 pounds and 40 cents moving to the ninth question when i first woke up early this morning the display of my bedside digital clock showed 2050 I presumed that it was faulty, but after drifting off to sleep again, when I next awoke and saw the clock, I realized that someone must have turned the clock upside down and that it was exactly an hour and a half since I had looked at it before. What did I see when I woke up the second time? The answers are A. 2E90, B, E0, 5E, C, 5E, E0, D, 5E, something, 0, and E, 5E, 90. So, your time starts now. Time up. And the answer is A. I hope... All of you got the answer correct, but just for an explanation, let me explain. Now, 
when i woke up the first time i saw this right and after one and half hour i realized the clock was upside down so let me turn the clock upside down so the original time when i was waking up was 5 2 2 minutes past 5 right and now i add 1 hour and 30 minutes so it is 6 am and 32 minutes 632 but when i saw the clock it was not like this it was upside down therefore i saw this time 2 e and 90 and that is our answer perfect moving to the last question of the day 10th question teams from five u.s states have reached the final of a competition the event organizers are trying to design a sign for each state. One idea involves the name in capital letters being placed vertically on a sign board which spins when one of the team presses their buzzer to answer a question. They want the sign to read correctly regardless of whether it is read from the front or the back. Unfortunately, they realize that most of the states for which this would have worked have not reached the final. Which one of the following is the only state in the final for which this style of sign would work? A. Alabama B. Hawaii C. Idaho D. Montana E. Oklahoma Your time starts now. Perfect. The correct answer is B, Hawaii. I hope all you got this correct. And it's very easy. We just write all the given answers vertically. And then this is the front wave. And uh, we have to imagine the back wave. The back wave would be a flip of the name, right? And they want it to be correctly red regardless of whether it is red from front or back but these letters l r d n k these letters have been flipped but in hawaii all the letters look equal even from front and from the back so the correct answer is hawaii okay that's all for today and Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your participation. The discussion is to be continued and you can find the third part as soon as possible. But if I have uploaded, I will uh, share the link under the description so you can directly check the description. For more information, please visit sprintertest.com and uh, the site is keep updating and the site is sponsored by Chertrovi and I would like to thank Chertrovi for their sponsor and I am Andrew Antonisami. I hope you will have a wonderful study session ahead. See you.